Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I have some cheap tricks for you on the Octatrack. Today I want to emulate a real drummer. It's really difficult and I didn't found the perfect way, but I just want to show you some workarounds that I true that I choose and try to um, give it um, not this machine gun type of drumming, especially on a hi-hat. And I use um, a sample that I slice up and then I use an LFO to change the slices. So it's um, always picking a different hit on the hi-hat. So let's get started. I have um, my flex machine here and now I look to my sample. Um, you can sample it by yourself um, if you have access to a hi-hat or something else you can apply the technique to, to snares, to bass drums, etc. Here I have my hi-hat sample and then I go to the audio editor and here's my sample. It's just some slices, uh, some um, hi-hat hits after each other. And in the audio editor, if you go to slice, to the slice mode, you can zoom in on the F encoder and then you can use the 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 level knob to to start slicing. So if you preview it by pressing function and yes, here's the the first the first slice and I just press yes, add a slice here and the first slice is here. Now just um, move the endpoint by the C encoder and then again the level knob and you go to the next slice, maybe preview, sounds good. And yes, add slice here, again, push the out point and go to the next one, preview, sounds good, add slice here and so on, so on. So I know this is a little bit tedious but um, I think it's worth it. And if you try it by yourself, that's the best, um, the best exercise I can, I can assure you. So if you do it one or two times, you will get faster and faster and it will just work. So slice and another slice. You need a lot of maybe six or seven or eight hits to avoid this machine gun, machine gun type um, drumming on the Hyatt. That was, that's just my recognition. I just need to zoom in here a little bit and adjust it. Yes, 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 yes. Add slice here and point and a new slice here. Yes, add slice here. So now I've got how much do we got? You can skip through the slices with the arrow keys. I think I got seven now and then preview it. Slice one, slice two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think that's good. So we have eight different hi-hats sounds. Um, okay, that's good. Now I can... Um, enable the slice mode on the playback um, screen. Here's the slice mode, you have to enable it. And now comes the fun part, you can um, check if everything worked. If you press function plus arrow down and you go to the slices mode. And then you have here all the eight different slices that we sliced up before. So these are the eight different hi-hat sounds. They sound not too different, but I think it will work for our purpose. Okay, so now we need um, a bass drum sound maybe. Go to the, to the, to your samples. Samples, drums, bass drum, not sure, oh, that's okay. Take this one and for the third track, I think we need a snare drum. Uh, da -da. Samples, drums, snare, and I'll just pick, pick one. Yeah, why not? This is 
perfect. It's just to illustrate the purpose. Um, so we got the hi-hat here on track one, um, the bass drum on track two, and the snare on track three. You can also use um, um, static machines, but I use flex machines now. Okay, and now I program a basic pattern. Very simple. Um, let's see, uh, get out of slice mode. You can also play it live in, but now I, I, I program it. Maybe start with with um, a short sequence. And I have my hi -hat sounds. And this, that's the machine gun type I was um, referring to. I think we have to really adjust this. So, and we need a bass drum, bass drum, 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 and some snares. the hi-hat is too loud. First thing we need to do is change the slices of our hi-hat track. And we do this with the help of an LFO. You can also play it in live, but I use an LFO to illustrate this. Um, we use the playback start position. And now it's up to you. Um, you have to start and um, find a good sweet spot um, with your slices. So let's start, let's see. Now it's adjusting, adjusting, taking different slices. Maybe take a random wave. Good. Okay, now take the um, second LFO to adjust the volume. Playback amp volume. Again, to your how you like it. Okay, that's good. Now maybe you can add some swing, some swing points. You do this with um, your pattern editor and you can adjust the, sw the, the swing of, of your track if you go to the swing tricks and push push the button and something around 60 59 um, is good I guess it just feels gives it more groove you can also use micro timing if you want you can push one um, one trick and then you can adjust um, the the timing slightly because a usual drummer is also not uh, a machine he's always off a little bit and so uh, da, da. this is a good way to humanize it even more also what I like to do maybe you use on the fourth track a through machine and um, apply a compressor there because so you can um, compress the drum sound so where's the compressor here it is another through machine it's a neighbor I'm sorry neighbor track of course so yeah 
Yeah, that's good. And then you can um, add some variation if you longer the the, the pattern. Let's see. Um, make it longer. Yes. And then you can program in some some ghost notes for the for the bass drum um, with a s smaller volume. And maybe here, just adjust it to taste. Maybe the snare. The snare is here. Some ghost notes too with a smaller volume. And this gives it um, more variation. And then you can start and play some guitar. perfect but at least it's a start and you can apply these techniques and um, refine them I know there it can, you can do it better but that's at least a start and you can use um, your own techniques you can mix it and refine it and use your own sample and so you can have some more a humanized feel on your drums thanks for watching <laughs>